Hello buddy, welcome back to PlayStation Doom Reloaded. Today we are finally playing the last map in the first campaign, map 30, Dawn of Reckoning. We have 273 enemies and 5 secrets. Oh boy, it's the biggest map. Of course, this is the Threshold of Pain inspired level, which is my favourite level ever. This one, we're going to have a few differences though, because as you can hear, it's different music, and we're going to see a different skybox that fits with the rest of the theme. We still get to see this epic lighting. So basically, we're going to make use of our SSG from the last level, and we're going to let everybody come to us. There's going to be like 30 or 40 enemies that are coming straight for us if enemies open certain doors. So I'm actually going to grab this. So as you can see, there's loads of guys coming for us. And I'm not even sure if they've opened this door over here yet. So this um, okay, they've come from in there. So I mean, just look at this. This is going to be an absolute army of guys that are coming for us. There's still more guys coming from that way as well. There we go. I think we have a little bit of a break. As you can hear, there's still more enemies everywhere. So yeah, we have five secrets. And I'm pretty sure I know where they all are. <laughs> so there's a big map. And it was one of the last levels to be done. Okay, we have crushers here, so be ready for this. And when we go over one bit, it's going to open up some rooms. One of these is going to open up with an imp, so be ready for that on either side. So watch out for them. Here's our first secret. Let's take out the shotgun. As you can see, this room here, pretty cool looking room. It's similar to um, the original map 30, but with a bit more of a dark headish twist. So we're going to go in here and grab these goodies. Having the SSG and do one just feels great. And we get to see the size of the level. It's a pretty big map, and as you can see in the corner over there, on the bottom right hand corner, we have a big arena. <laughs> and my god, is it a big arena! I'm actually going to clear out the rest of these guys if there's anyone here. Yes, there is. And I'm going to backtrack a little bit. As this level was probably one of the newest, I've played it quite a few times, and I know what I'm doing, but I haven't quite figured out the best tactic of handling this level yet. Watch out for these crushers, I'm pretty sure they're into the kill. I can hear guys opening doors over here. Ow. Thanks for that. And I had uh, um, mega armor as well. Alright, there's a, there's a room here somewhere. Wait, it should be on my own map. Not there, because it opens up in a minute. Okay, it's coming up here. I love the lion in this. Check out this Hell Knight. Oh, there's nightmare rooms as well in this dark blue area, so be ready for them. Oh, get crushed by the door. It's going to be pretty hard to see what's going on here. I think we'll be okay though. I don't think you want to jump down there because you're going to be surrounded by guys. Where does nightmare room go? There we go. There's going to be loads of guys up here still, and these pain mentors, so I forgot about these guys. As you can see, we, we do get a um, light amplification goggle, goggles here, which are extremely rare in um, PlayStation 2 Reloaded, because I barely used them, and I know you actually didn't use them that much either, because it just takes away from the actual atmosphere of PlayStation 2. And I'm not going to use them here either, unless I struggle where the secrets are, but I don't think I will. Did someone else wake up? Yes, they did. Let's go in here and grab these guns. I need the ammo. And let's continue going this way. Eventually we'll make a loop somewhere we've seen before. Here we go. Got these shotgunners, where are they coming from? Let's take out this guy. We've already killed 90 enemies already by just walking around pretty much the starting area. So one of these torches will be different, as you can see. So shoot there, and we back backtrack a little bit. Ow. The nightmare rooms are so hard to see. And here's our grenade launcher, and of course they um, quite damage if you need it, but to be honest I've cleared everybody out of this bit for now, so I might not use it. 
he would have come this way because it also opens up this room over here. That shootable switch you press. And if you go through this teleporter, it'll take us to this megasphere back in this room. So that's how you get to that. Let's just keep going this way for now. I think there's too many lost souls in the level, so they're not spawning at the minute, which is good. So we can just take these guys out with no problems. I'm going to snipe off this Hell Knight through this window. Every little helps, and let's go this way. And as you can see, we've made another loop. So now we need to go down into the next area, where there's going to be a lift. A huge group of guys. This will open up eventually later. So here's the lift. And this will lead to the area I said you don't want to drop down yet because it's going to be a big group of guys. Which is here, where that chain gun is. You do not want to drop down that way because it's very crowded. Now we're going to get to go outside. Let's get ready to kill these guys. Watch out, I'm not sure if there's any lost souls left. I can see one in there, but you can't get us. Oh, yes, there is. I'll kill them guys in a minute. Okay, is this everybody now? I oh, nope, there's still more lost souls hiding. It says we've got a little bit of a platforming bit to do in a minute, but first we need to go and get some goodies. We're going this way. Damn it, I missed them. I'm going to quickly take out these guys. We might as well kill these lost souls now as well. Avoid them being annoying later. We've already got all the secrets, by the way. So we're going to come around here and going to kill these guys. I learned another Hell Knight. I think you can see him up there. There he is. There's also going to be three more Hell Knights around this corner, guarding the other key. Nice, okay. We have our first key. Any other doors up there? How do we get to it? We backtrack a little bit. And a new path should be open for us, which will be a, a backtracking teleporter so we can get to the area we need to go much quicker. I think we might be at the point now where Pain and Mentors can actually spit lost souls. So here's our backtracking teleporter, which will take us near the crusher area, so don't walk backwards straight away. If not, you're dead. So we can go in here now. Jump down here and Bam, we're back here. I'm going to try and grab as many of these as possible, but I don't want to fall off because you have to backtrack again. A little tricky to do on a controller, especially the ones on the outside because there's bigger jumps. We did it, okay. Okay, there's a Hell Knight here. There's got a couple more guys in here to deal with. Thanks for guarding me there. This nice blue room as well. There's going to be a pain mentor this way. I'm pretty sure he can attack us now. Let's just double check. Yes, he can. Okay, we want to jump down here now. Land straight in the nightmare in his face. Press this switch right here. Which will lead us to this teleport, which we don't need just yet. We need to go in here first. We need to grab the blue key. So there's like a backtracking method here, which is probably the quicker way. Actually, they're both just as quick. We have this way we can go. See, this level is very connected. Or we can have this way which we can go, which we need to do first to kill these Hell Knights. Do not forget about this area. I cannot. I don't think this area is mandatory. I think it's just for assault here. We 
we have 100% rockets. Unfortunately, you have to take a little bit of damage there. So this is where the problem of this level begins. Well, it's not really a problem, but it could be. I think everything should be dead now in this area, but there could be enemies still wandering around because of how many there are at the start. I'm not hearing anybody, so that's good. Cause I can't. I don't think you can backtrack this area once we go to the arena part. So fingers crossed, everyone's dead. I've come in the worst way possible because I've got to do these crushes again. So please, do not kill me. Okay, we're good. And now we can go to this bit. We share this looking bit where we're going to have uh, some of these lower down with some Hell Knights. Damn it, took damage. Now, so it's similar to the original, but it's a bit more hellified <laughs> with the glowing floors. Hey, die. Thank you. Okay, here goes nothing. Here comes the final area. So, how it's going to work, there's going to be a huge group of Hell Knights, and I mean a huge group of Hell Knights. Pain and mentals, but it's kind of a go nuts area because they give you, or they give you um, multiple quad damages, the mega spheres, invulnerability, so we might as well use the last of our ammo. You wanna walk, every time you walk into one of these little things over here, one of these torches, it will lower down the next set of Hell Knights. I'm going to try and alert as many as possible. I think I've already missed one. Which is kind of annoying. So what we're going to do, we're going to lower out as many Hell Knights as possible. We're going to go to our BFG. We're going to grab this gun. We're going to fight our way through, we're going to grab this, and we're going to go nuts. I mean, I told you there's a lot of Hell Knights, but there's a lot of power-ups as well. I don't think I've been in all the torches. There we go. We might as well use pretty much all of our ammo here because it's the last area. Right, there's got to be another quad damage. We'll grab this as now as a mega armor. Come on, where's the quad damage? Here we go. Take out these pain because they're going to be the more annoying ones. And our last shot. Oh, that is more ammo. Okay, and let's finish these guys off with the SSG. Don't want to get hit by a lost soul in the face. So you have one massive final area. And I'm worried. Oh no, everyone spawned in. Oh, thank God. I'm worried that someone was not going to be spawned in or if they're still spawned in the other area. But my God, we did it. And we still had a quad damage, a mega sphere, and an invulnerability to spare. See, they said this area just lets you go nuts. That's the whole point of it. One huge final area. Pretty crazy. And it, it, if you um, get caught by Hell Knights, it's easy to die here. So don't think because there's so many power ups that um, you're safe. And you'd have to be careful because if you grab a invulnerability, if you grab a quad damage first, and then an invulnerability after. You don't know which, the invulnerability might wear off, but you still have quad damage, or if you grab them at a very similar time. So you might think you still have invulnerability, and then shoot a rocket in your face and you get killed by your own rocket, because your invulnerability is um, worn off. So you have to be careful there. Oh boy, we did it, and that's UAC foul. So yeah, the final map, it's a tough one. I so said you have about 90 enemies coming straight for you right at the start of the map, so you have to be ready for that. And apart from that, the level doesn't really get... It's not the most hardest level in the world, but it is still pretty difficult. You know, like, them crushers that can instantly kill you, huge groups of Hell Knights. The starting is definitely the hardest. If I didn't have my SSG, that would have been a real tough start. You have to watch out for the Pain Mentals at the end of the map, at the start. If you're lucky enough, 
um, they won't be able to spawn Lost Souls because of the limit. And of course you have the big finale of this map which kind of sets you into a false sense of security because you have so many power-ups but like I said make sure you, you time your invulnerabilities and quad damage as well if not you could accidentally run out of invulnerability and die or you could just easily get surrounded by the Hell Knights and be careful with the rocket launcher as well because there's so many pain mentors in the area but yeah that is USC Foul, finally got through USC Foul it took me so long but we did it and now we can move on to the episode that I mostly worked on Fallen Earths, which is the Doom 2 inspired campaign. And there's lots to talk about there as well, but that's for the next episode. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.